Hey there guys, the Nitroberg here, hope you've been doing well. Now, this video is going to be a bit more of a vlog type of video where I just want to talk to you guys and give you a basic outline of what my plans are with this channel going forward, especially in the year 2024. Now, there's been a lot of changes in my personal life. I've actually immigrated, <laughs> immigrated to a different country. I'm currently based in the United Kingdom. It's been a very, very, very stressful and trying last few months. Not that the United Kingdom is strange, it's actually beautiful here. I know it rains a lot. That's maybe one of the biggest complaints people have. But for the type of environment, we've changed it up. For, I'm, I'm more than happy to have a little bit more rainy days. And it's it's a really nice place. I'm, I'm really appreciative of being in a position where I could have taken my family and moved to a different country, even a different continent. Even though I miss my family, we are extremely happy here. And I also recently secured some work. So we're going to be finding a little place to set up shop in and potentially be reworking and just regrowing our lives again. So <laughs> things have been very hectic. I'm not going to lie. That's why you haven't seen many YouTube videos from me because I'm just genuinely trying to do as much as I can in real life. Now, when I mentioned that I have some new plans for the channel, it's, it goes without saying, a lot of my content has been MyCritic centric, and a reason for that is that I managed a big MyCritic focused network. All of the routers consisted of, of MyCritic, even though the switching was more uh, Aruba slash HPE or Huawei, that was the switching platforms, all of the routers that we deployed were to the biggest extent, MicroTik devices. Heavy, heavy emphasis on MicroTik. And I'd say that was one of my strong points is I can figure this stuff out, deploy it, make everything run. And that's what I enjoyed doing as my career. It was my job to f figure these things out on MicroTik. <laughs> and the fun thing is, as my side hobby on YouTube, I'd come home and be like, hey, that was pretty cool what I figured out. Let's make a video about this and just put it on YouTube maybe as a, a repository of where I can store things that I figured out so that if I ever need to revisit the subject, I can just look at the video and I'll train myself, if that makes any sense. Now, since I have landed a new role and in the country where I'm currently based, unfortunately, my critique is not a large part of the ecosystem. Now, does it mean I'm going to stop making my critique videos? Of course not. I'm still going to be making MyCritic. I will still use MyCritic on my own home network. And I will still bring up some of the latest and greatest features that MyCritic might deploy. I'm sure you saw recently that MyCritic released ISIS in their beta version for version uh, 7.13. Um, it only works through the CLI at the moment. And since it's just a beta, I haven't actually... Um, considered making a video about it because things are prone to change and there's still a lot of tweaking that MyCritic needs to do. But the base functionality is there, which is really great. But I just wanted to state that I'm not going to stop making MyCritic videos, but you're definitely going to see me add more types of different videos or different vendors on the channel as well. Because as I just said, I come home with a cool solution that I figured out and deployed and then I kind of document it. And I think if I'm going to be working on other vendors' platforms, it's going to be a very similar type of experience. You might see me make more Cisco or Juniper-centric videos because it's more fluid or more consistent with what I'd be doing on a professional level anyways. And you'll definitely still get the same type of videos from me where you'll see me lab the things and try and make it as simple and as easy to understand as possible. The great thing about network engineering though is it's a very transferable skill. It doesn't matter who the vendor is exactly. If you understand how BGP works on a MicroTik, you will figure it out very quickly on any of the other vendors. So it's not like I'm just going to revisit the same concepts either. I want to make sure that I keep things fresh. It's just if I see something that's very interesting that I think that somebody could learn something from, I'm still definitely going to make a video about it and document it basically. Another big thing that I would really like to get into in the ne next year, and this has been a big, big thing that I've been trying to get into every year almost, but I've never just sat down and commit to it, is network automation. It's one of the biggest things. It's been a big thing actually for a few years now. There's actually whole roles based off of network automation, but I'm so far behind it that every time I pick up like a course or I learn the stuff, I'll be busy with it for a month maybe, and then it just kind of like goes into the background and 
a year goes by suddenly and I'm like, hey, wasn't I busy figuring out how Python works? <laughs> and I think a lot of you can relate to that. So I think I really want to just actually seriously pick that up again. And one of the things that I think is really cool with the network automation is, and what I'd like to recommend to you guys as well, maybe if you're also interested in this, John Capobianco, uh, he's a big, big, big Cisco network automation fanatic. The guy's awesome. I love seeing his videos as well. I've also posted about him before. I'm just <laughs> referencing him here directly because earlier this year, he actually made one of his books like uh, getting started almost on network automation totally free it's on his github you can just go onto his profile i think it's automate your network but i'll post a link in the comments as well where it's basically a book that was it wasn't super expensive but let's say it's like a 30 dollar book or something he, he just decided okay i'm going to open source this i'm going to give this away for free if you're interested in learning about network automation and stuff here it is and I'm going to go through that book as well. And depending on how my journey goes, I'll probably also be documenting some of my own findings and stuff with network automation. But I think it is a superb time to be joining and figuring this stuff out and potentially for you guys to also increase your own skill sets because I can assure you stuff like automation and AI is going to become massive over the next 10 years. I can see this becoming a core skill I know people always claim it will be a core skill, it's coming, it's coming, and then it feels like it never does. But at the rate that artificial intelligence is evolving, I think we really need to also keep track and keep pace of all of these developments. So in essence, or in short, that is my plans with the channel. You're still going to see the tech how-to videos and stuff. You're still going to get a vlog here and there like this one but you're just going to see me branch out in a few extra topics. So I don't want you guys to feel like I'm dropping my critique or something. It's just that the channel is evolving a little bit with my own professional career as well as my own interests. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you guys think or if there's anything that you think that I maybe should add in my list of things that I want to try and do in 2024. I'll catch you guys in another video. See ya.